All right, guys, uh, to all of our listeners and viewers of the Delta Flyers, we have a very special treat for you today. We have the three ladies, the sirens from the episode Favorite Son joining us. So please welcome in alphabetical order, according to last name, first Kelly Kirkland, Kristana Loken, and Carrie Shane. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Thank you. Thank no, you. Thank so you. happy to uh, get the band back together here. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> You know, this episode is called Favorite Son, but I often felt that this this episode should be called um, uh, Nonstop Caressing and Kissing episode. Right? I, <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, when I, did, when I look back, when I watch this episode again, I, I just, uh, there's so much touching and kissing. It's just, it's, it's crazy, right? I mean, it's I just- We get tired to do what we're good at. <laughs> I love the first meeting when you come in and meet the, you know, meet all of us girls. And the first thing we do is just go and start rubbing on you. And yes, <laughs> it's hilarious. yes, it's very funny because like, you know, as you're touching me, I'm, I, I'm sort of pushing you away as right. if you're, you, you're, you bat, yeah. you bat me off like yeah. I'm a fly. It, all right. Like you're a fly and it's just the funniest thing. Yes. There, there is some great humor in here for sure. Let me ask you, I was, I was um, re recollecting to those earlier days in my career and we were um Theresians is that it yes now there's two there's two pronunciations Deborah yeah. May Deborah May the uh, uh the older actress that you guys worked with the, the lead Theresian I say Theresian she says Theresian she puts mm -hmm. an extra syllable in there so I don't know how you guys pronounced it but I think it was Theresian to me yeah. right uh, it was Theresian to me too okay Okay. We, I just remember us being like the sex aliens <laughs> <laughs> who killed men. Yes. Right, exactly. Yeah, that was our goal. We seduced them yeah. and bring them into our yeah. our uh, feminine wiles yes. and have our way with them and dispose of them. You know, that's really not unlike real life. Really. Not a, it, very true. <laughs> very true. Let's talk a little bit about your backgrounds here. Uh, Kristana, you were born in New York. Is that correct? Did I That's get that right. right? Okay. State New York. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, Kelly was also born in New York, believe it or not. Um, your first credit, Kristana, was As the World Turns in 1994. Um, one of Carrie's early, early credits was also a soap opera, General Hospital, in uh, 92. So really, Carrie is the esteemed elder when it comes to uh, the <laughs> longest resume, because I think 1988 was when you're first credit for a tv show which i've never heard of almost there was oh you know what that is, i don't know where that credit came from and i've never been able to get it off it's not oh mine. so it's a baloney credit okay all right it's a pony credit somebody put it up there on with good my to name know on. good to I know no idea what it is so general hospital was your first then it correct was. okay yeah. so that is something that you and Kristana have in common now Kristana, when you were on voyager you were at the ripe age of were you 17 or 18 at the time i i think 17 yeah yeah i know i remember i was like man she wasn't was even legal. Legal. i kept i kept thinking am i even allowed to kiss this person am i going to get in trouble for kissing her she's so young oh and come on you were 17 too I, right? oh yeah. you're right yes yes so i looked i looked 12 when i was on the show so that's the difference i looked extremely extremely young so anyway so let me get back to the uh so as the World Turns, um, 1994 for, for you, Kristana, and then for Carrie, um, General Hospital. Um, you know, also interesting with Carrie's bio, I was looking at it, she took an 11 year hiatus from Hollywood. She went ahead and I don't know if you know this, Kristana, she studied to be a nurse and she did work as a nurse for a while. And then she just jumped back into Hollywood. Um, and we have that similarity Carrie, because I took a break in 05. Because if you guys remember um, when Voyager ended in 2001, there was a huge writer's strike that went on. Yes. And that, well, that's kind of oh, a that, too. that just, you remember, jobs just dried up. There wasn't go much going on. So 2005, I left. I left and I spent the next, oh my gosh, six years traveling the world. So I went to like 45 different countries, flew all over the place, came back full on intending to get back into Hollywood. But instead, I played golf every day for four years. And so <laughs> uh, my hiatus was 14 years. So wow. 2019 was when I came back. Um, Kristana, you have been working this entire time. You're, you're just like constantly nonstop, bum, bum, boom, 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 um, which is so impressive. Um, now, 
of all, all, yes, <laughs> of all of you women, I have not seen um, Kelly at all since the original when since she was uh, you know on the show. Um, that was that's crazy, and thank you so much um, to Carrie for suggesting that I try her agent out, you know, yeah. and I, so I sent it, I sent an email to the agency and they passed it on to her and she, oh. she said, yeah, I'd love to do this. But uh, unfortunately, um, her, her reception and from her car <laughs> in her, <laughs> in her car is not helping her right now. I want to say one thing that was really, uh, really interesting about this show is that this is not considered one of the favorite episodes for fans. It's called, I heard that. it's called the, it's part of the trilogy of terror. There are three yes, episodes. I heard that. Yes. What does that mean? Rise, Darkling and Favorite Son are considered like the, the scary, like, ah, uh, episodes. And <laughs> I want to say that I think this is a very important episode because it is, when it comes to Hollywood and Asian men, Hollywood never really allows Asian men to be men. Like they right. don't, they don't show them in romantic relationships. They don't show them in, in anything where they're, they're considered attractive or desirable. And right. this show in 1997, here I am smooching on, there she is. Hey, hon. There, uh, there, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Okay. Gotta get Wi-Fi. Sorry about that. <laughs> yes. No worries. No worries. So Kelly, um, just to bring us back to uh, speed here, we're talking about how this episode was considered one of the trilogy of terror, not the favorite yeah. of fans. Right. And I said, it's very important because um, in night in the nineties, or actually in Ho the history of Hollywood, Asian men have really been emasculated and not yep. allowed to be, you know, win in a romantic a relationship. Symbol. Yeah, sex symbol. But yet, I was allowed to smooch on all three of you. So it was just it was absolutely an amazing um, an example to show worldwide, everyone worldwide. Hey, it's okay. It's okay to date Asian guys. And so yeah. now, and the funny thing is every, every person that I've dated that is an Asian in my past, once I've, once that relationship ended, I've always heard about them later. Well, someone will come, but Hey, I saw your ex-girlfriend. She's dating this Korean DJ. I'm like, Oh, okay. So like they always go. So I always say, once you go Asian, you never go Caucasian is what I try to say now oh. to people. Yeah. <laughs> never heard that before yeah that's that's on the once you go black you never go back right yeah, kind of thing yeah. so I, I got my own thing there so i squeeze that mm. in yeah like <laughs> kelly's it. like hmm okay no uh, it's true <laughs> and i was just thinking about even in rewatching that episode again how speaking to what you're talking about right now yeah. even at the very end um where you're talking to the other guy about looking up you know sort of idolizing each other and as yeah. you're walking out He's talking about all the qualities about you. And I said, you went right back to the stereotypical Asian stuff. Yeah, you did. He literally <laughs> was like, I've true. always wanted to be like you. You're so punctual. And yeah. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> punctual. That okay. is true. That is true. I was um, like, you can't even let him be a sex symbol for the whole episode. You got to get back to like the right. stereotypes. Oh my I, gosh. I, I know. I know. Let me, and now that we have you, Kelly, what you missed when you were gone is I just did a well, brief intro. Oh, you did? Okay. Yes. So, well, with, with Kelly, Kelly's first uh, um, credit would have been Saved by the Bell in 1993. No, it actually isn't. Oh, no. What was it? No, my first is also a soap opera. It was The Young and the Restless. Oh, get out. So the, all It was three my of very you. first. Uh, I was 19 years old. And my line was, Mrs. Chancellor, the doctor will see you now. <laughs> <laughs> and I wore a velvet dress to the audition. Oh, my God. Because I knew nothing. And I was in college and I was like, it's a soap opera. I should look really beautiful. I'm okay. Like reading for a nurse and I'm in a red velvet dress. They should have oh. like kicked me off the CBS TV city lot. But anyway. Oh, my God. Um, they like the red velvet. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I find it interesting reading Kelly on IMDb. You actually did cat. You were in the casting department. You helped cast a project called the Romantics. Is that correct? I Is used that... to cast a lot of stuff. I did. Okay. Uh, there are quite a bit of casting things that are not on my resume. Yeah. Okay. Um. I just thought it was. A, I think every actor should work in casting at some point to I agree. just learn what it's about I and agree. to learn how. I think if I hadn't worked in casting, I probably would have had a nervous breakdown at some point. Yeah. Because you can't. No matter how confident you are, I feel like you can't help but say, "Why didn't I get it?" Or "What went wrong?" Right. Wrong? Yeah. Or "I thought it went well," or whatever. Yeah. And just to see. Yes, come prepared, of course, but so yeah. many things are out of your control. It doesn't matter. And I cast the show that's not on my resume and I won't say the actor's name, but he got a series regular role and uh, his his headshot had actually been in the trash can. 
<gasps> oh my god okay we were not even calling him in for the audition and at the mm. last minute someone canceled and my boss said just grab some of that stack and get a couple people in here and he happened to be in the trash deck <laughs> does he know and this? he's an actor that we all know today but i won't say his does name he, but... does he know that he was in the trash can no, Wait, did you guys no. okay oh my and i worked with him a couple times since then i've never told him one day i will have to oh you should tell him that but it's I... just one of those things that's like we would not know his name right now i mean yeah. maybe we would at some point but the thing that really sort of got him in with something that he wasn't even the original first pick for i hear you wow so much of it is arbitrary yeah well we have that in common too because before i was on voyager i also worked for a casting director briefly and i saw how it was on the other side of the table you yeah. really you really see how nervous the actors are and you don't realize that the casting director is your friend i mean they want you to get the role it's not like they're the they're the enemy or they're the gatekeeper that you're trying to get oh get around and and they're your um they're not rooting for you they are rooting for you right so it is, yeah. is it is a good thing to do that the other thing we have in common which i did not know is that you were also at ucla i had yes, no clue I, was I i had no that's I in reaver hall and Sac what what year was that, Kelly? Do you can Do we you, have to say the year? Please. Really? Is that how the going to go? I, 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 because that's that's my college too. Okay, so okay, I, it's okay. I just turned fifty recently, so okay. I, it's all right. I tell everyone my age. Uh, I oh, you live like a baby. Nineteen eighty nine. Yes. Oh, thanks. We were there. We were there the same time, uh, Kelly. Eighty nine. I graduate. Eighty nine. Ninety nine. One. Two. Ninety three. Yeah. We yeah. were there the same time. We were there. I was there. I was no like, a, I, I, okay, I'll tell you when I was there. I was there. I started in 85 because I was 16 year old freshman uh -huh. and I wasn't a seven year, I spent seven wow. years in UCLA. So I was there all the way until you were there. Wow. And this is what's going to blow you away even more. You were in AE5. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, that AE5 is traditionally a predominantly Jewish sorority. Okay. Yeah. I was a Sammy, a predominantly Jewish fraternity. No wow. So we did so I, I know. <laughs> oh my God. It's that just such a absolutely had to have crossed. That's really super funny. small world. You're right. I mean, for Very two small. people That's who are not crazy. Jewish to be in Jewish you know, sorority and fraternities, you know what? The funniest thing for me, my memory was uh, the day that we had a lot of the kissing stuff going on was the day that all of your boyfriends showed up. Each oh, no one way. of your boyfriends showed up. On, so for really? Carrie, David Dean shows up. For oh Kristana, Justin Whalen shows up that day. Oh and Kelly, God. who was your boyfriend at the time? I can't remember his name. I, I don't think I had any boyfriend that showed up. Yes, you did. Oh. Are you sh Are you kidding me? That was the that was my memory so clear. So I was weird. like, wow, every single oh, one of maybe. these. I was dating this guy, Mike, who's a writer. Maybe he came. Yes, he did. He was there. He probably oh, yeah. did. Oh gosh, oh, I no. remember that. No, because they all looked at your call sheets and they're oh, this is the kissing day. I'll be there. Like they were like, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I was sitting there going, huh. I don't remember that either. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I recognize Justin from, you know, he's, he, he had done so many credits. So Kristana's boyfriend, I'm like, oh, okay. I know that dude, you know? <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, Carrie, uh, David, I, I actually became friends with David. I, I, um, I took, I, what did I do? I planned his bachelor party before your wedding is what oh I my God. Oh, Yeah. Really? This is, yeah. And oh, Kelly, I, whoever you were dating like, at the time, I think had glasses. Did he wear glasses yeah, at the time? Mike, yeah, that's Mike. How do you remember Thank that? You. Oh my God. That's crazy. Yeah. No. Yes. And I remember that guy looks like a writer and he was a writer. And so he's there still you a writer. Go. And he's still yeah. a writer. Yeah. This is not your husband though, right now, right? No, no, okay. no. But we're okay. still friends. I'm going to call yeah. him after this and tell him about that. That's so funny. Yeah. Um, so I hung out a lot with Carrie after that. I mean, I saw Carrie and David quite a bit. You designed um, my tattoo. I designed. <laughs> Okay, wow. guys, you guys don't know. <laughs> Carrie goes, Carrie says to me, she says, hey, I'm going to get Chinese characters tattooed. Okay, I said, okay, so can you give me suggestions? So I came up with something, but you this did. is, I, I did. And I, I came up with something and I said, okay, this means strength or this means that. But unfortunately, that combination of characters is me, someone from not. Chinese history, like a yes. male, some dude in Chinese history. So when Which she I was- I found out when I did a TV series in China. Yes, so she was in China and made everyone's made like, why do you have that dude's name tattooed on you? I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so from that day forward, I made sure anyone that asked me for, you know, suggestions of Chinese character tattoos, I always went to my parents. I go, okay, is this somebody in history that was horrible to like, you know, the people or something, a bad emperor? Make sure this is not the emperor that killed a lot of people, okay? And oh so my gosh. I felt so bad. I was like- Bonded oh us forever, Garrett. <laughs> 
funny. Oh my lord. Um, let's talk a little bit about the casting process for each of you. Like how how was your casting process? Let's start with Kristana, uh, then we'll go Carrie and we'll go Kelly. Um, what was it like? Do you remember anything uh, dealing with Judy Larry Johnson or Ron Serma? Kristana. Uh gosh. I, well, I got the job. That's what I yeah. remember. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so many years ago. Um, yeah. Jeannie Lowry is, I mean, she's a legend, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, she's just done so many great things and, you know, such an esteemed casting director. And, and like you were saying too, um, I've been fortunate enough to produce my own films and also sit on the casting side and what a skill form that is and how unique it is and how you can, you know, if you're not exactly what they're looking for, you can go in and deliver the performance of a lifetime, but it really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. However, it does leave an impression in their mind. And I think that's really the important takeaway. And obviously as an actor and an artist, um, it's important for you to go in there and do what you love and work on your craft and just keep, you know, keep auditioning and, and going in the room. And now we have this incredible luxury of, doing it from home and yeah. we get so creative of doing it and we can choose the exact take that we want. We can do it as many times as we want in the time frame in which we want. Um, and I think it's gonna personally revolutionize Cassie in general. Mm. Um, I digress, but um, no, it was great to be a part of the epic um, family of Star Trek. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I, I still sign autographs for Star Trek. Oh, yeah. And as you know, Garrett and I have done conventions together and we've yes. had fun. And um, so, you know, it's just wonderful. I think for me, it was really an entree into the sci-fi world, which I've worked a lot in. It was really special to be on that set and be yeah. part of that history. And this credit came about for all of you so early in your career. So it was, you know, this is one of the very earliest things that all of yeah. you did. And same for me, Voyager, obviously that was my 32nd audition total. So very early in my career as well. So, um, so, so happy that we're all together here and healthy. Um, Carrie, what was your uh, casting process like? How, how was it? Um, I, you know what? I seem to remember maybe going, I think what happened was I went in for another character from another episode. Oh, okay. And I want to say that I came down to the wire on, on that episode. And then, so when this one came around, it's a foggy recollection, but I want to say that when this one came around, they came back with just an offer mm. for this uh, episode. So I want to say I was up for something else, another another episode, and then this one came around as as like you know no I think she's better for this one, okay. <laughs> um, but I can't remember for sure. Okay, and, but it was yeah, another I'm Voyager sure. audition that you had. Another before? Voyager. Okay, yeah. great. Voyager okay. audition. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so I mean that's that's my recollection of it. Okay. Um, I, I know that was a a really busy year for me. That was kind of a big a big year in my career, and and. I remember kind of a funny story where, I don't know if you remember this, but I was up for a, a TV movie um, when we were doing Voyager. And I remember you taking my script. And we ran lines. On it. Yeah, I think yes. you like, helped me prep for the, the audition for the movie. And you, you wrote something on my script and you said, oh. you're gonna get this. <laughs> and, and I did. <laughs> and awesome. me, yeah, it was a really cool, it's a really cool thing. Oh my god! You're my spiritual guru. I am your guru. Oh my god! Wow! Thank you for that. Yeah. Kelly. Okay. Cool. I had never even knew that. You never told me that. I never told you that. No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Um, uh, Kelly, on to you. Uh, your casting process. What was it like for you? Uh, it was really uh, an interesting process for me because my agent at the time had just moved agencies, and she didn't take me with her. And so I was sort of in this for a week, like in this state of panic. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really have an agent and the assistant was still there and he submitted me and oh. was like, I write for this, so I'm just going to do it. And no one really said he could and he did and I got it. So it was big oh. for me. It was my first guest star role. Yeah. And um, it was big for him because he became an agent after that. And it was just <laughs> sort of this 
That's great. really random set of events that happened. It was great. And for my father, who really is a sort of a, he was a guy who just really never got excited about anything. It's very calm. Like nothing was really too thrilling. And when I told him that I booked Star Trek Voyager, I have, ne- I mean, he turned into a cheerleader. Aww. Like what I, I was like, are you going to be okay? And he was like, this is one of the happiest days of my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> so I just always have that memory of him and he wanted me to call him every day and tell him how it was. And he oh. loved everything about Star Trek oh for my so goodness. many years. Yeah. And so this was just one of my favorite parts because it meant so much to him. Oh my gosh. Is he still with us now, your father? No, he passed a few years ago. Oh, but okay. yeah, he, lo- he loved this. He yeah. loved this show. He, oh although goodness. he was really mad at you when you conked me in the head in the episode. I know. I I, that I, in advance, and he was oh. like, what? Did he really hit you? I know. (sighs) Let me just, okay. (laughs) Let me just say right now. I mean, I've always been raised to never, ever raise a hand to any woman. So when this episode, you know, when I was reading the script, I'm like, really? I got to hit her on the head with a statue or whatever that was. And I was yeah, not it was happy. Self-defense, right? Yeah. It was self-defense. And but, they, they didn't show it. It was not anything gruesome right. or whatever. But you had to get free. You had to get out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we were trying and to kill you. Hello. I, I you know. I know. To kill you. Well, did you guys see that moment right before the, the conking on the head when I do that backflip on the bed to get yes. away from you? That yes. is, that's the funniest thing. Because if, if you guys remember, this Marvin Rush, the director, he did he hadn't really blocked anything out. And it was kind of like I just up to me. So well. Yeah, it's it's almost up to me to come up with something. And I'm like, all right, I'll just try this. <laughs> and I wish yep. I didn't when I took that um when I took that ribbon off of you, Kelly, uh-huh. I don't know why I ripped it. Because if I rip it that easy, that means right. you, you could have gotten out of that even easier, <laughs> right? So that that kind of that destroyed the, you know, the, it just it messed everything up. I shouldn't have ripped that thing up. And then, then after hitting you, then I manhandle Kristana, right? So I'm sitting there like, I'm just doing all this stuff. And again, that goes against every core part of my body. I didn't, you didn't get injured that day, right? I mean, I threw you against the girls. I, I choked you. You're okay on that? You remember? Oh, I'm pretty durable. Okay, good. <laughs> Again, I felt like crap. I'm like, oh God, why am I, why do I got to be like this? But of course, self-preservation, you got to, you got to, you know, hang in there and do what you got to do to stay alive. Yeah, right. So right. Um, well, you, were, you were a true gentleman. I, I really do remember that. You oh, were, you're very mannerly. And, and you were, I could tell you wanted to make sure the ladies were comfortable and yes. you yeah. know, whatever you were doing was okay. And, and yeah. Um, yeah, you were great that way. Yeah, I always joke about, I tell people on the show, Neelix is considered the morale officer. That's what he says. He's, he keeps everyone going and the host and the, the cook. And I really feel like that was my real life job on the show. Like I made sure every guest star was comfortable. I made sure that they felt um, welcome and not, because sometimes when you go on a show and they've been running for a while, the cast, the main cast can be a little standoffish at, at times. I've, I, I know, of, you know, that situation where it's sort of like, okay, we're not allowed into your club today, are we? We're, we're, we are strangers, right? So I make sure that you guys were super comfortable. And that was my next question. What were your memories of interacting with, for instance, when you first met me and also the other Voyager cast members? Anything um, stand out at all? And let's start up with uh, Kristana and then we'll move back around again. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, everybody was very welcoming and warm and professional Mm -hmm. and kind. Um, you know, I, I did, I felt like we were, you know, as you said, you, when you guest star, sometimes it's like, you're going to a family reunion, but you're not really part of the family. You're like mm. the plus one. Yeah. Um, I, I, I didn't necessarily feel like a plus one at all. I felt like, oh, maybe she's the long lost cousin, you know, okay. <laughs> so you guys were all great. Really Awesome. Awesome. Carrie. I, you know, I don't really remember anybody but you, Garrett. I, I, I mean, and, and it was one of those things where, and I, it was, I've never been like that with anybody, but yeah. you were so easy to be around. I just yeah. felt like, oh, hey, this is my long lost best friend. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, we stayed very close for a long time. We after did. That. I don't know. We had an instant, instant bond, instant yeah. connection. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we really had did. so much fun. That's a, actually really sticks out as one of my most enjoyable memories on set. It was such a great time. 
Yeah. Aww. Aww. That makes my heart warm. <laughs> oh, Kelly. And also, another person yeah. I remember is, is Patrick Fabian. Oh, yeah. Well, I remember what? Patrick Fabian. Also and, yeah, really. I, I, I just remember him kind of lounging around with all the girls around him. He had this <laughs> smile. It was like a toothpaste smile. And I just envisioned him with this like ding coming yeah. up. <laughs> ding. Yeah. Ding. Patrick Fabian. Ding. So oh, true. Oh my God, Patrick Fabian. And of course, uh, Christana mentioned this before. Last time I saw her was in um, Newcastle. We were at a convention together there and it was a nice reunion. We had a, a good dinner and and, and kind of yeah. reminisced and talked about the old days. So that was good. Yeah, we had yeah. a lot of fun. We took a mm -hmm. fun little walk around the, the town. Yeah. And <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was good. It was good. And, and Kelly, Kelly, I just haven't seen you all these years. What were your, what were your memories of um, meeting myself and the other Voyager members? Uh, I just remember time? it was a, the most pleasant experience I had had. And I was super nervous. It was my first guest star. It was the first time I'd ever kissed anyone on camera. Oh, so I was so cool and didn't know what I was doing at all. Yeah. Yeah. And you just were the consummate professional, truly so kind, yeah. so thoughtful and helpful. Mm. Um, you know, it was just had had a different type of actor um, been the one I was working with. I'm sure it would have been even a scarier experience. But you really you it's true what you said. You made everyone made sure that everyone felt comfortable, Aww. whether it was if I looked cold, you would make you're like, oh, are you cold? Do you need a jacket or oh, do you <laughs> all the little things. It's like, wow, he's like one of the stars of the shows. Why is he even bothering to notice? But you just Aww. really cared for all. I don't remember giving the jacket, but that definitely sounds like something that I would do for sure. Is see if you're cold. <laughs> um, um, let's talk about wardrobe, guys. Now we're talking about coldness. What was that like getting fitted for that wardrobe? Did you like wearing what the heck that you guys had to wear? Um, let's start so with yeah. Let's start with Kelly and go backwards this time. Kelly, what was it like wearing that wardrobe? I liked it. I would have my whole life. I've always been you know quirky and I always played quirky roles I never played like a sexy role right. so for me it was just like oh my gosh who is gonna buy this like <laughs> I'm always the like awkward friend but uh you know I guess that's what acting is you get to act like something you're not and so I loved wearing that dress it was super comfortable it yeah. wasn't totally you know like super revealing or anything but I, it made me feel like for the first time ever like oh you could play like a sexy character that's, oh. that's cool yeah. So I love Carrie. <laughs> Carrie, what was your okay. uh... I, it was so comfortable. I just remember it being, you know, really lightweight. But here I have a picture of it. Look at this. What I remember about it though is, is what? That... What? You haven't even shown me that. What are you doing? Oh it's my, on my god. Desk. Whoa. So, yeah, it's it's slit all the way up to like the thigh. Like yeah, all the way it's up a to... high slip. Yeah, all you guys yeah, had really that slip. slip. Mm. And I I don't know if you can see it, but I have UGG boots on underneath it. <laughs> I remember those boots. <laughs> Not funny. Yes. But it was oh a really God. comfortable dress, and yeah, it was it was like sexy yeah. without being too revealing. Okay, so it wasn't messed up then. All right. Um, at uh, Kristana, how about you? What was your wardrobe like? Yeah, it was it to me the impression it left was um, it was very typical, uh, of course, sexy, but typical Star Trek. Yeah. You know? And I felt like as oftentimes um, the wardrobe was really the icing on the cake for your role. Yeah. And you put that on and it was just like the character came to be in that way. And mm -hmm. the hair, I remember my hair was, it had like a roll. You had fabulous hair. <laughs> rolled over the this it was almost like it was it was really cool with some tendrils hanging down and we had those you know those painted on mm -hmm. yes. things whatever and it was just um it was it really set the tone and it, it made the character really feel like it it was one like it cohes and uh so there was nice. a, there was a fluidity to it and like you said with the slick care you know with walking and leg you know and i remember we we there was a real tone to our movement and our walking right and i come from a, a dance background also you know some fashion and whatever so to you know to me like the movement of the way that you move within the clothing um has always been a very specific thing for me too which is carried on through my work but yeah the the, the costumes were great they were nice yeah yeah 
Yeah. Oh, one thing that I forgot to say, Carrie, is that I know your mom was um, a pageant winner. Is that right? What was she? Yes. Miss New yes. Mexico, was, right? Uh, no, Miss Wyoming. Miss Wyoming. So yeah. I was looking at Deborah May's information, you know, who played the lead to region. She was a pageant winner. Did you Where know she? that? She's Miss Indiana. I had no clue. I'm like, wow, look at that. Aww. All these little parallels here. Very quickly, you're both moms now. And Kelly is a mom too. So um, how old are the kids now for yours is five. Is that right, Christana? My son is five. Yeah. Okay. Just Five. Yeah. And then, um, Carrie, you have, um, I have a 10 year old daughter and a 16 year old son. Oh my God. That's so crazy. Oh. And, um, there you are, Kelly. Kelly, how old are your kids now? I have one son. He's, uh, he just turned 11. Oh, okay. His name is Apollo. Okay. So I oh. stuck with, with space for yes, my you, entire life. You sure did. Space. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, okay. So in terms of new projects coming up, uh, what can we plug for you? Kristana, what's, what's the next thing that we can see you in or what do you want people to know about right now? Yeah. So um, <clears throat> I've got a, uh, in, in the vein of this uh, discussion, I've got a documentary that's now streaming called Skin, the History of Nudity in Film. It goes mm. all the way back to the a silent movie era up to the current hashtag me too movement. So right. Great involved in there. Yeah. Um, my company trio entertainment um, has co-produced a film called a mouthful of air taken from the eponymous novel that deals with postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. It stars uh, Amanda Seyfried and Paul Giamatti, and that will be released in theaters in the fall. So we're very excited about that. Sweet. Uh, and then we are in pre-production on our uh, next film called Vice and Virtue, which I will definitely be in. And it takes a look at celestial beings, vice and virtue that come to earth and have judgment day with a handful of people. And it looks at decision making and choice points and how we can make good decisions and bad decisions and where they lead us. Also deals with racism, ageism, sexism, um, discrimination. Um, you know, I feel like coming out of the pandemic, um, we've had a lot of time to sit with um, what's going on for us internally and how we've lived our life. And hopefully this will be a good window into why we've made the choices we have. Wow, amazing. Thank you for that. Carrie, what's going on? What's coming up for you or anything? Um, you Currently working on a series called The Bay on Amazon, okay. and um, it's a series that has been around for, it's in its seventh season now, we're going nice. into our seventh season. Um, I started in the fifth season and we're getting ready to film this, the seventh season next month, um, but it's basically, they've, uh, they've taken a bunch of soap stars from other shows mm -hmm. um some that are currently on so we have uh mary beth evans from days of our lives and mm -hmm. matthew ashford and um tristan rogers from general hospital and a yeah. bunch of bunch of uh people that i've worked with in my past and now we're all on this show um but we just won our 19th emmy do you guys remember talking or interacting with our director? Our director, Marvin Rush, of this episode was also our director of photography. So he was always there and he got it. He got two or three shots to direct episodes of Voyager during the seven year run. So this was, this was his second um, uh, opportunity to direct wow. a Voyager episode. So do you guys remember? Um, we'll start with Carrie and, and Soup Around. We'll go Carrie, Kelly, and, and Christana. Oh my God, you guys are all K sounds. I just realized that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, what, what was your what was your uh, um, memories of, of dealing with Marvin Rush, our director? Yeah, I mean, I, I vaguely um, remember that he was the DP. Yeah. Um, but I just remember we had a lot of freedom mm -hmm. to do kind of whatever we wanted. I remember it being a very easy um, creative process, but yeah. that we had a lot of of freedom. Right. Okay. So, Good. Yeah. So he wasn't, you know, I mean, he was easy to work with. That's the yeah, main thing. Easy okay. to work with. Um, Kelly, memories of Marvin Rush, our director? I can't say that I have a specific memory of him. I just remember thinking he was nice. Every time he gave a note or a direction, he was so respectful with the way he did it. And I had heard horror stories from friends on other sets, how directors could be sort of dismissive or not be that great at explaining the vision in their head and then mm -hmm. be frustrated when an actor can't mind read. Yeah. Um, some directors don't know how to communicate well with actors. So I didn't experience that at all with him. I just remember it feeling easy, Good. which was nice. Good. Okay. Kristana, your thoughts? 
Yeah, I, I remember him also being very kind, but um, on the opposite end of, of what uh, Carrie was saying, I remember it being more specific, um, like a specificity to his vision of what he really was looking for. And I think because there was, I don't know, I just felt very aware, and perhaps this is just me, of, of the movement with all of us, you know, we had to do some sort of chanting or something right. in the oh, circle. Yeah. And there was a real uh, need of cohesion in conveying this energy that we were doing. So I remember it being, um, yeah, there was a specificity to our um, entities, if you right. will. Yeah, and we, we had to do, yeah, the, the choreography from the, yeah. the hitting of yeah. the sticks and everything, the yeah. Amal yeah. lot um, when we send Tame into the afterlife, basically. Yeah. Ceremony, <laughs> right. Um, what about, do you guys know the writer of this episode was Lisa Klink? So one of the very few female writers on Voyager. Really? Um, yes. So did anyone talk, have any conversations with the writer? Do you remember that? I don't remember that. I don't recall. Okay. Doing that. Yeah. I think she was probably on the set. It would make it would make sense to me, you know, for a woman to write uh, these kind of strong female sexual seduction alien characters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> rule, the world, rule their world. Yeah. <laughs> um, has everyone here done conventions? Then the the whole signing. I of yet. Never. No. Okay, no, so Kristana's done to it. Do, um, the signing, you know, I have my my uh, baseball card, you know, the the Star Trek card that oh I've, my God. I've signed. No way, really? Awesome. Few times, yeah. Okay. I've done a signing. Do I do? Okay, I know that Kristana has done quite a few conventions, but with Kelly and Carrie, do you guys have any publicity photos other than, other than the one Carrie? You have the one of you and I at, on set, but do either of you have other on set photos of? you know, at all in your collection? Yeah, I mean, well, there's a ton of them on the, you know, that I've kind of gathered over the years. Right. I don't know if they've been stills or, you know. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I have a few. Yeah, there's actually, a I had some that were published in magazines, okay. um, particularly the soap, soap magazines, um, yeah. printed yeah. some of you and I, Garrett. Oh, okay, got you. Um, Kelly, anything in, do you have any of that stuff? as well in terms of uh set specifically photos? from voyager yeah from that episode do you have anything no everything that i have is just stuff i find where that's sometimes a little creepily that fans have sent yeah. <laughs> and i'm like how'd you get my home address yeah okay. <laughs> exactly oh uh, they know interesting they know. <laughs> yeah even they all know. these years later oh you know hi rena i'm like oh my goodness hello there <laughs> okay um so no i the only things i have are things that other people have found or maybe they screenshot i don't know i didn't take a camera to set or you know i didn't right i have a cell phone back then but right okay well you know when there's a big trek convention i'm gonna see if i can pitch the three of you to show up with me and and be Ooh, at the be show fun. and sign oh, that'd be with so me. fun yeah. right to have it's all of us together trilogy of error. yeah <laughs> that, in a different that way be, that would be good. Um, all right. So what advice I want, I want you guys, to, what advice would you give to any of these listeners or viewers out there that are aspiring actors? Um, like I just, just, you know, a little bit about what you think the best thing that they should do or what, how, you know, what words of wisdom, that's the best. Perseverance, way. never okay. give up. Mm -hmm. um, keep studying, believe in yourself. And um Try not to take everything personally. Great. Mm -hmm. So brilliantly said. So brilliantly said. And the, I would say, uh, just to add to that, um, the point at which you don't love it anymore, try something else. Even if it's just for a little bit, because life is too short to grind so hard and hate what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It'll come through in your auditions if you're starting to hate it yeah. it's okay to take a break and come back you can act until you have a foot in the grave honestly there's no <laughs> end we, you know i mean so there's no i know everyone feels like i need to do it by the time i'm 25 or whatever but you can come in go out it's totally fine and just love it and and act for free yeah. yes we all want to make a bazillion dollars but if you really love it do a play do a scene with a friend get a group of friends together and improv like whatever just keep doing it because you love it even if you're not making a million dollars or, or getting to do podcasts or being on magazines do it because it's your passion there you go perfect yeah, thank you Kelly. Carrie? I, th I think um you know to add to that i think it's just i i started realizing the older that i got 
and, and stepping away from it for a while too, really taught me how valuable having a full life somewhere outside of your acting career, mm -hmm. how important that really is. So yeah. whether that's a hobby or, or uh, you know, an, a, another side career or, you know, some other interests outside of acting that really fills you up is so important. It makes you such a, a better actor, really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like a home life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. I yeah. know it's so like crazy an somewhere else you know like I, I learned so much from being a nurse I feel like that that just filled my well yeah. so much um just in life experience and and getting out there and doing something else because when I when I became an actor I was still in high school and I I never went to college I went straight from my senior year of high school and started working immediately. And mm -hmm. then, you know, I had no real life experience outside of being an actor. And mm -hmm. I feel like now that I've done that and I've stepped away and gone and done something else, um, it, it just, it really filled me up. Yeah, it's true. I mean, to be a good actor, you have to have life experience, right? And so how do you have that? And when you're young, you, you need to go out and do things other than acting, yeah. all right? That's right. important. Uh, all of you, it's really special to have this little reunion. It's so great, great to see you again. Thank you. See you guys in person next time. And, and what is your um, uh, social media that people can find you on before you go? Uh, yes, uh, Instagram is KS Loken. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter is at Loken Kristana. And then it's the official Facebook page. Yeah. Perfect. Um, you look as beautiful as ever. Thank you, Kristana. Go handle your Thanks. child right now. And Bye. we'll talk to you later. Bye. 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 Take care. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, Carrie, can you tell us uh, again what you were saying before we got no. cut off? So just say, yeah, what's your newest project? What's coming up for you? Um, um, you're talking about, yeah, go ahead. Start all over. So I'm, I'm currently on a show called The Bay. Mm -hmm. um, it has, uh, the first couple of seasons that I was on, season five and six, uh, has been on Amazon. Um, we're getting ready to shoot number seven. Mm -hmm. um, I play... Uh, Dr. Genevieve Cates, which is actually kind of a, a tribute to my character from General Hospital. Um, oh, wow. Karen Wexler Cates, who became a doctor. And so this role was um, created for me by the creator of the show because he was a huge fan of General Hospital. I love it. Yeah. So it's been fun to kind of, you know, it's not, it isn't really my character from General mm -hmm. Hospital, but it's kind of a tribute to her. Mm -hmm. so Very cool. That's been, that's been great fun. And, um, you know, they just won their 19th Emmy. Wow. And so that was very exciting. And um, we have a lot of really great um, actors that people would know from other soaps mm -hmm. on the show that um, it makes it a lot of fun. Perfect. What about social media? How can people find you right now? Um, I'm mostly on Instagram. Um, okay. I'm at Carrie Shane, C-A-R-I-S-H-A-Y-N-E. Mm -hmm. um, and Twitter, to be honest, I don't use Twitter a lot. I mean, I, I post some things for the Bay because they want me to, but yeah. <laughs> I'm, not <a> big, <laughs> I'm not a big Twitter person. Um, I can't even really tell you what my, I think it's just Carrie Shane. Is it just, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I feel bad. I don't do any. I'm just like, people will find me if they need to. Well, Kelly, you're, you're on, you're on Instagram though. You have an Instagram page. Kelly. But you see, I didn't respond. I don't know when yeah, I Yeah, you didn't respond at Instagram. all. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, the, Kelly, tell us, tell us your newest project or what's, well, you know, what can you plug right now? What's coming up for you? So I, um, I had just, when the pandemic struck and the LA shutdown hit uh, last yeah. March yeah. 13th, I was on set at Universal doing um, Superstore and uh, that, in, in that, that day when everything shut down yeah. and uh I thought I had really never taken a break from acting and all the years that I'd been doing it I'd been working 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 you know a couple dry spells but really pretty continuously working and I took the last year I told my agent I just need a break and I just hung out with my son and wow. I went back to what I used to do was teach science and I taught science and uh, have been with the kids, and I opened a company called Genius Kids Club, um, and I do science and art. Love it. And my agent still says, "Are you ready to come back? Are you ready to come back?" And I'm like, "Not yet. <laughs> oh, I will at some go. point." But it has. I don't think what? I would have ever intentionally taken the break. I felt like, "Wow, what a blessing to keep getting work. People are so hungry for work, and you're mm -hmm. getting it, and so just do it." And then when it was sort of like everyone stay home, I got a dog, and I hung out with my kid and really just started doing all these things that really 
fed my soul. So yeah. all I have to pitch right now is Carrie's advice, which is have other things in your life besides acting once in a while. Yeah. And it's oh, really nice. Um, I think I'm probably going to take a break for another year. Maybe I'll do a convention or something fun, but it has been great. My son and I are doing a travel to 50 states before he leaves for college adventure. Oh, so oh my God. We just got back from states back east. We crossed off 11 on the list so far. Wow. And we're going to keep going. So good for probably you. after all yeah. 50 are done, I'll go back. Yeah. And, and, and you know great. what? I'm loving it. So, you know what, Kelly? Take, take uh, Carrie and my example. I mean, she had an 11 year hiatus. Yep. I had a 14 year hiatus. I mean, a decade yes. and a half. It's like, yeah. it's okay. If you yes. go away, it's it the business. So is, great. It's, it's amazing. Always and the business, yes, it's always going to be there, you know? It's and, always be there. And, and the truth of the matter is, you know, some people don't age so well, but the three of you, including Kristana, who just <laughs> left, you guys are like fine wine. I mean, uh, I, years go uh, by thanks. and you still look so good. Sweet. Yeah. It's so, uh, I'm <laughs> so, so, so excited and happy to have had um, all three of you on this a little podcast of mine that we've been thank doing you. and yes and thank you so much and continued success for or for uh, all three of you and thank you again for joining in um thank yeah. you thank you, guys, you for finding me and and thank you for including me in this it was wonderful and yes. i loved it and thank carrie carrie's the one like here's her agent i'm like oh geez okay let me just go <laughs> to her agent. yes <laughs> oh my god because i tried I'm going to tell you right now, Kelly, I don't know how I was like, okay, what can I do? What, how am, how am I going to find her? Cause I sent you all those messages on Instagram and I know they're in this weird folder that you don't even look at. They're right? sitting it's there just, somewhere. They're I'll sitting have there somewhere. Tell me where to find them. Exactly. And that, isn't that amazing? Anytime you have an issue with technology, you ask your kids because they know everything. It's just, it's unbelievable. Yeah. They can figure it out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. And uh, listeners, there you have it. We have the lovely ladies from Favorite Son. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank All you. All right. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>